can you stay with us, Mr. Osborne, because we're just getting the results. And I'd like your reaction. The central to it. constituency is as follows: Paul Dixon, Liberal Democrats, 7,191. <laughs> Julie Elliott, the Labour Party candidate, 19,000. Pauline Fentonby Warren, United Kingdom Independence Party, 1,094. Lee Martin, Conservative Party candidate, 12,770. John Vincent, John Vincent McCaffrey, British National Party, 1,913, and that Julie Elliott has been duly elected to serve as member of the said constituency. Here are the results then. Labour did hold the seat with a healthy majority, 6,725, previously 9,400, 9,500, just under. There's the uh, majority now, and the turnout, 57%. That's up from 50% last time. Let's have a look at the change in Sunderland Central. A much reconstructed seat. Labour down five, the Conservatives up five, and that predicates a swing just under five percentage points, 4.8 per cent Labour to Conservative, and overall 8.2 per cent swing now running from Labour to Conservatives. Emily. Yeah, I was just having a little um, play with that to see what really jumps out, and again, they have done this big leap here, the Conservatives. I mean, when the result came through, definitely sounds as if they'd improved. Labour down just five, not as much as in the other seats, Peter. And also, a word about the BNP, which we saw in the last seat had done pretty well getting into fourth place and here as well. Uh, Emily, I was preparing to say how Sunderland might be different from the rest of the country, but what's happening is that one part of Sunderland is different from another part mm. of Sunderland. A clear swing to the Conservatives, but a 5% swing compared with an 8.5% and 11% swings in the other seats. Now, as Vernon Bogdan rightly said a little while ago, on the earlier seats, the Conservatives would be looking forward to uh, an outright majority. On this sort of swing, they don't. We're definitely in hung Parliament territory. But the BNP here, nothing. 1%. There were 5% though in Washington and Sunderland South. We're not yet getting much evidence of a breakthrough by the small parties. But Labour will be feeling slightly more comfortable and the Tories perhaps slightly more nervous after this declaration compared with the previous ones. And absolutely no movement there for the Lib Dems, which is something that we'll look out for uh, a little later in the evening. David. Uh, you heard all that, Mr Osborne. Um... David Cameron said it was one of the places he was going to be watching. What do you think he'd conclude, and what do you conclude from that result? Well, look, there is a, still a really decisive swing taking place in this election. We only had three results. Uh, we got your exit poll, and the Labour Party had been rejected by the British people. And I think Labour politicians, as I say, need to get real. They need to understand that a democratic process has taken place. And the idea of Gordon Brown and the Labour Party clinging on to power after being so decisively rejected would really, frankly, shock many people. I take that point. Uh, what would your procedure be, then, if you don't have an overall majority uh, and you don't have an automatic majority in the House of Commons where you can do what you want and your own Conservative MPs will support you? What would you do? Well, uh, I'm, I'm no doubt going to be on this programme several times over the next 12 hours or more, and we can talk about that situation, if it arises, I mean, people need to know that David Cameron and the Conservatives will do what needs to be done to give this country a responsible, strong and decisive government at a time when the economy is uncertain and when the country wants change. Well, uh, I hope we'll explore these issues further with you through the night. Thank you for joining us for these first three Thank results, you. Mr Osborne. And let's now have a look at how things stand.
It's uh, coming up to quarter to midnight. Fiona. Yes, indeed. Let's see where we've got to so far at this point in the evening. Just three seats have declared so far. And according to tonight's exit poll, it looks like we are heading for a hung parliament. The first